Hi everyone. It's um, well, about five o'clock in the morning on March 18th. I myself have been up for a couple of days, as you can tell. Look, I'm kind of tired. Probably wondering what the hell we're doing up at five o'clock in the morning. Well, WCB is rushing Lauren around yet again to a specialist appointment in Vancouver at GF Strong with a Dr. O'Connor. Um, so what we're going to do with this, as I'm kind of working on correcting my hair here, is um, run it much like a documentary for today. So when Lauren's done with what he's doing, I'll get his opinion and so on and so forth. So thank you very much. So here we are. It's fucking 10 to 6, quarter to 6 in the morning. I just got home from hitchhiking from my doctors. Last night took me a day and a half to go to my doctors because no one pays for my transportation, so I hitchhike. Now Compo is forcing me to go to this appointment in Vancouver that I have today at 9.45. I'll be back tonight at 9.30 tonight after all this traveling and after my adjudicator had told me that none of this stuff would be happening for another week or two. And that was Jennifer that we had seen with Mark and them back in uh, January. Yeah, so they're fully knowledgeable that uh, what they're doing is manufacturing all this shit against me to make me non-compliant. Um, well, in hopes that you will be non-compliant. In hopes I'll be non-compliant. Try hard. But this is the last hoop I jumped through. I do want to go see this doctor to see if he's been bought off or not, uh, but we'll be getting more. Talk to you guys later. Later. Anthony, what's your name? Here we are. We're going to uh, GF Strong at 7:49. Just got off the plane and going to go kill a few more hours to wait for my appointment. Then I have to kill the rest of the day, which I'm going to make quite use of the time of, actually. And uh, here we are in Vancouver. Off to GF Strong, yes, sweetheart. Weather looking as crappy as always. Hey, the flat at the the Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Well, here I am at uh, UBC Medicine and EMG where I'm supposed to see this doctor or Connor. I've been waiting here for a half an hour, you know, and this is after hitchhiking for a day and a half, getting home at 2 o'clock in the morning, getting on a plane at 6 o'clock in the morning to wait for this shit. Is this them manufacturing more bullshit to fucking stress me out? Like, what, what am I supposed to do? So how are you feeling right now, Lauren, waiting? How like does it make you feel? fucking place I've ever been to, left alone in a fucking hallway. By yourself. By and myself. Feeling no very alienated. Yeah. As always. Here we are. Okay. We will just prove to Mark Evans and them that we were here. See? Mr. O'Connor, laboratory. Been waiting and waiting and waiting. Here we are again, just so you know. We're here. We were here. Nobody else around. As always. As always, Lauren's sitting by himself, except for this time I've got, I'm here. So he's yeah. not entirely by himself, but we've sat in this uh, hallway for a half an hour now, and nobody has so much as even asked us if we've been helped. I went to the receptionist room 24 and was told by the secretary that we're just supposed to sit and wait. 
So we'll sit and wait some more and see where that goes. Ten o'clock in the morning, waiting a half an hour. Just giving an accurate documentation to uh, WorkSafe BC that in fact Lauren was here on March 19th at nine o'clock in the morning for his 9.30 appointment. Uh, we're just waiting. This is just documentation to show that we were in fact here, but the doctor isn't. And here's Lauren eagerly, patiently waiting. Like always. Like always. Well, it was. This is the last appointment I'm going to for these people. Well, it was WCB that phoned you up last week, or two weeks ago. It was Jennifer that phoned you up from WorkSafe BC, stating that due to your teeth, due to her vacation. But none of this shit was going to happen until the end of April. Till the end of April. But as soon as Jennifer leaves, for some reason, the very next week, Mark... Corporate security, Mark Evans, decides to take over my claim. And so where are we sitting, honey? We're sitting in Vancouver at the GF Strong Center, waiting <laughs> some dude I've never heard of before called Dr. O'Connor, who's supposed to assess the rest of my life. For CRPS, right? The thing they said they weren't going to look at again. So, yeah, the one that I lost six fuels and the WCAT decision for. I'm here. Okay, well, here we are, and hopefully it goes somewhere for you. Well, let's just see if we even get to see this person because it doesn't look like they're too eager to see me. Well, half an hour late. We'll wait until 11. If they don't show up, we'll do a final video and go have lunch with my sister. Sounds good. Sounds awesome, babe. You look tired and I'm, I'm feeling nauseous. I'm so. very sore. Yes, the I know you are. Flying for me isn't very fun. The, the change in pressure just kills me. It's, it's a lot. It's been a long few days for you, sweetheart. Very long few days for you. Yeah, what the hell? What, they don't care. No, they don't care that you've hit checked for cut, two they days. They would have cut me off if I didn't fucking show up here this morning. Yes, that was Mark. That was probably Mark's intention. Probably it was more than his intention. Well, I'll turn, turn the camera off for a bit and we'll see where it gets us.